Hey guys, so an interesting opportunity does exist. And the opportunity is there is a print shop in China, in Shenzhen, right? Which has printed all the MetaZoo cards. That is why many people consider them lower quality than Magic cards and Pokemon cards. But um, it's almost like a print shop that does the counterfeit Magic cards, right? But instead, they were being used to actually print real MetaZoo cards. To my knowledge, um, there's speculation that they have not been paid and they're withholding product, including perhaps the pink Hello Kitty boxes, as well as even more product like the war product. Now, who owns that product is a legal battle that I don't think Mike Wardell wants to fight because it would be in China. So as long as you are a buyer of the product, um, and you buy the product from, so as a lawyer, this is a very interesting legal exercise. Can you go to China and buy the product or even tell them, hey, I want more of this product and only print the, the hits, right? Uh, would that violate the Hello Kitty IP? And, and this is why, for the most part, um, before you go to China and do a contract with your print shop, you have to make sure they get paid. Um, this is all about money. Um, make no doubts about it. It is 100% about money. And when people don't get paid, they get uh, a little bit... Um, they get a little bit... Um, upset right so how much of this product will make it to the u.s who knows but at the core and in, in the very end of the day it is quite fascinating to believe and i don't think again this is possible but to believe that you can go ahead and make your own metazoo company using this print shop now i have actually ordered i haven't shown the videos yet i've actually bought these cards from china they're like some type of waifu card or something like that and the quality is pretty damn good and you can buy a card for less than 10 cents uh, they're probably producing it for less than half a cent so it's not cardboard is just cardboard guys it's not expensive to produce it's like a giant printer essentially right like you got a printer at home right it's basically a giant printer this is not something that is very technically difficult. Once you have the PSD file, right, then you just kind of plug it in. You, you, I mean, again, this is not a difficult thing to do. I remember when I was in middle school, we used to have this uh, proxy app where you just upload a picture and then you can get a card. I think that still exists today. So like these, it's not a difficult thing to print your own proxies for any card game, including obviously Magic the Gathering. Now, the question is, how high quality of a proxy do you want? Well, in China, you can get a very, very high, very, very high quality proxy, right? And to the point, it is so high that in MetaZoo, you don't even know if it's real. You know, like it, it's basically the same as a real MetaZoo card. That's how, that's how, uh, that, that, I mean, it, it's astounding when you think about it, but it is what it is, right? So, I mean, they were promoting a game where the majority of the cards were printed in a Chinese facility with almost no contracts and no laws and no legality. And now this giant company is sitting on these cards, including many promo cards, red ink, all these very valuable. They're the ones who printed those cards, right? Including Rudy promos, I assume, right? And they're just sitting on them and thinking, you know, what should we do? And they're just waiting for some guy to contact them and say, hey, here's a bunch of money. What do you guys, do you want to turn over your, your inventory to me? And you would solve their problem. And honestly, you would probably be solving MetaZoo's main problem because print. So back to kind of my analysis on this whole situation, it's an opportunity. It truly is. Am I going to take the opportunity? I might. I'm going to look into it. But is somebody else? There was a guy on um, whatnot. Supposedly, he was like one of the biggest whatnot streamers, and he's looking into it. I know Nick Strength and Pokemon is probably looking into it, right? Um, there are people who actually are having. I mean, this is not and and the IP that they're protecting. What is it? 
cryptids. Okay, cryptids is not no, they're not protected. So you could theoretically create a game very similar to MetaZoo using the same printing company with a better contract, and have that game be about cryptids. And they would produce the same quality of cards. They were packaging. I'm, I'm assuming they do packaging as well. And you could fund it all by just buying their dead inventory for probably a dollar a box for the Hello Kitty. Just ship it over on the... You know, it might take a little bit of time, right? But it's um, possible. And it's because this company really didn't dot every I and cross every T. Uh, in my personal opinion, it was... You know, the theory that this company was never supposed to actually be a real company. It it was always supposed to be a rug pull from the very get-go, but then they made so much money that they actually were a real company, and they didn't know what to do, so they kept trying to rug pull the whole time, and eventually they successfully rug pulled. But it took them many times to kill the game. And, and you look at the way that they handle stuff, players not being paid, you look at the... Hello Kitty debacle of the three hundred dollars being slashed at one fifty. Look at all these collaborations. RB, it, it really did seem like they were trying to pump it one last time and just get out. And there was never really a good exit point because every time they pumped it, you know, every time Rudy dropped another promo, cards were hit a new high. So, you know, when when were they supposed to get out? When I mean, let's ma imagine a crypto coin and it keeps going up in price, and you're like, whoa, like when do we get out, guys? It's a very fascinating question to have is if they believed in long term of this game, why do they have that random Chinese loose end? Like, why do they have a factory out there that has all their PHSD files that literally has been printing the game since inception? Why wouldn't you do more to protect this collectible? And, and that's my biggest um, concern about th this game. I'm, I'm probably not going to... I'm either going to buy the whole company or I'm going to not buy a card. It's one of... I, I still don't own a card in MetaZoo. Um, it's one of the two. I'm, I'm buying a lot of Weiss, by the way. I just got uh, a case of FGO in. And I got uh, some graded assigned cards. And I have some other cards. So we'll see what happens there. But, like, why would you not... Um, why would you not protect the company long term if it's a collectible? Like, right? If, if everyone's worried about these Chinese counterfeiters, why would you then use a factory that probably prints Chinese magic count, magic the gathering counterfeits, and then turn over all the PSD files to them so they became your main printing company? Like, this is supposed to be highly collectible and investable, no? Why would that be the first thing you do? Again, I think the theory is correct that it might have just been a rug pull that became too successful and they were trying to rug pull the whole way. They just couldn't, you know, the stock kept going up. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.